and welcome. This is going to be the next 48 for Aries. It is August 4th, and Mercury has just gone into Leo. It is still direct, and I am getting a song coming in. It's a... Uh, I can't remember that. I think it's Perfect by Ed Sheeran. It's a... Uh, Dancing in the dark. You between my arms. So I'm getting kind of that romantic vibe for you, Aries. And with Mars and Aries, the passions are high. And with all this loving Leo energy out there, I can see that maybe there are some conversations in the evening time for you. Or some telepathic uh, communications trying to make their way to you. What we just had pop out here, we've got the... Seven of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, and on the bottom we have the Ace of Wands in reverse. What I'm, what I'm picking up on here, Aries, is that you may have been juggling a, either a lot of options or a lot of people who want a lot of things. And you're, you're really ready to kind of allow that fog, see the cloud, the fog in there, to start to fade, because you're ready to play, like this, this is a lot of, this is mercury energy, and often this card also has to do with manifesting, so I, what I'm getting is mostly that you're manifesting new options, and that you're considering the older options that you've had, and you're really, I'm getting a big hit on this a lot today, there's some ships in the back, back there, you're, you're thinking about a new situation, a new journey, and I'm really being called to this, the snake in the cup at the top here, um, and since that would be the third cup up there, if you have any third party situations going on, um, you might want to be careful of people in your midst who do not mean you well, and who are trying to, uh, slither their, their way either out of a situation or out of consequences, or it could simply be that now is a really good time for you to shed another layer, layer of ego, which Aries, I have many Aries placements, I absolutely love Arians, um, that sounded inappropriate, Aries sign dominant people, uh, but ego is a challenge, and you've got the Emperor card as your main card too, so that can make sense now. So with the ace of wands, with the ace of wands in reverse on the bottom, I'm getting a sense that you are frustrated. You are ready to really embrace this creative energy that is coming out. But on the top, we have the hermit in reverse. So either you're in a situation that's making you feel really antisocial, it's disconnecting you from your intuition, or you really would like to be able to take some time to yourself, some real strong me time. I just heard somebody down the street like shout something. It wasn't. It wasn't like I couldn't say hear what the word was. But that that I tend to include in the things that happen around me in the readings. So um, it might be that you have some distractions around you, or somebody is yelling, or that you're not hearing that little inner voice in your head saying that's not that's not going to help you. Now, right ben beneath this Ace of Wands, we have. We have the ace of or the the eight of swords, which so yeah, either you're feeling trapped or you're feeling stuck. With, you know, you're you're there's a lot of victim victimhood in that card. Um, the figure in the card could free herself at any time, but she's you know she's she's not really bound. It's like having toilet paper wrapped around you. At any time, you could push your arms out and you'd be just fine, or you could even just walk outside of the the circle of swords. But you're not. Um, so if you're in a victim mindset, get out of that. If you're with somebody who is constantly stuck in a victim mindset, get out. Get <laughs> let them go. Release them. Leave them be. The the star card follows that. So follow your inner guiding light. And if you, if you have uh, feminine figures around you or a anyone who seems to be really in this like flowing, easy energy and things are going good, you know, connect with them a little more often. And it's a, it's a good time, Aries, to take off your masks. You, you do need to be a little bit guarded, especially with our overall energy, talking about hidden enemies uh, around. Maybe, you know, keep your communications to yourself for a little bit longer. But also be aware, yeah, 
Yeah, there, and we've got some Piscean energy in there from the moon. The moon is in Pisces right now, so which is also your polar opposite. So there might be some challenges coming in to do with some exes, um, some father figure stuff. And you might even be considering um, returning to an ex or leaving a situation where you did return to an ex. You're, you're really thinking about it right now. And <laughs> I'm not surprised with, with this uh, Ace of Wands in reverse on top. I was going to say something about you might be sexually frustrated, but I didn't want to jump to that. But with the Devil card showing up right after all of those cards, I'm getting the sense that you're really craving for a... a greater depth in your physical connections and you might find yourself recognizing how many connections you have around you that really they're not all that meaningful if they're just involved with materialism um, or lust and greed and things like that they're just not going to be very satisfying and in those situations your boundaries are going to be broken a lot you're going to just keep kicking up mother wound issues um, you're going to have tower moments but they're going to be little ones that never really knock it all down enough um, and if you don't stand in your truth and use this mercury and leo energy Spirit's going to put you, we got hanged man here, Spirit's going to put you in a spiritual timeout until you take that cup. Um, but for those of you that do really write in on this, you've got the Knight of Swords. That's very fast moving energy. And so for some of you Aries, you might um, either have somebody coming towards you. Uh, to offer you something much more stable and much more romantic and loving, um, or you might find yourself healing mother wound issues, or you might be that person, you might be in that uh, divine feminine energy for that. But I'm not seeing like big fulfillment right now, and there is definitely a bit of stagnation on communication and travel, but focus on what you're manifesting. And allow yourself to kind of use this fading Aquarius energy to release uh, heart chakra stuff, betrayal energy, things like that, so that you can get reconnected with your head and your heart. Because otherwise, it's going to be a lot more karmic cycles with um, unreciprocated love. Yeah, yeah, I'm seeing it. And you, you might have some verbal sparring going on. 